All right, so today we are going to Sinai Dam, and I will be saying some important facts about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So we started the trip and it is also in Mayurbhanj district, Odisha, India. Um, same district as the Kala Dam, which I also have a video on. Um, Sinai Dam is built upon Sinai River. That is where it got its name from. So I feel like that's just one of the best facts because I don't know why, like these names, I don't know how they came up with them. They built this dam to increase like water management and agricultural productivity. This dam does help a lot to a bunch of people because it gives you a really stable water source. The purpose of this dam is also irrigation, just like the Kala Dam. Um, when there's less water or it doesn't rain a lot, this, this dam just supplies the water. And even when it rains a lot, people use the water in the lake instead of the dam. So the dam just like holds some amount of water, like a decent amount, that it can like supply maybe a few hundred people when it is necessary. Basically it works for like every situation and helps a lot. We are now like walking, well not walking, we're driving across over there. And when you look here, there are goats on the road. And even when you bring the car so close to them, they refuse to move. But as soon as we get out, like even if we're a few feet away, they're gonna run away. Like like we're, we're gonna do something to them. So I, I just don't get that because they aren't scared of a car, but when a human walks past them, they run away. That's, that's a bit like, look at that. We just decided to walk over there. And I really wanted to pet a goat, not gonna lie, but it's just like ran away. And when you see this road, you can already tell it's like inside a forest and everything. In USA, all the roads are entirely built, even if they're in a forest or anything. But this is a fully dirt road. So it is a bit unstable for a car and not really fully built. It's only cleared enough to let a car pass through if necessary. See, two cars can't pass through this. And another difference is that you can see a lot of things on the road, such as cows, goats, dogs. Cows come in first, dogs in second, and goats in third. These three are the most common animals you'll see on the road. I have, I've barely seen anything else on the road. Like, I've never seen anything else. Uh, uh, well, there's cats too, but those are really rare. I've only seen like four on the road. That's a really big difference between India and America because it just shows like America is more focused on fully building everything and making everything easy for people. Well, India, I think it's more focused on the house, as I said in one of my previous videos. And we have now reached Sinai Dam, so we will walk over to the lake. And the dam is all the way far off into the distance. I'm too lazy, so I will not walk there. The land is entirely barren because there's nothing else to do. Me and my brother just threw rocks into the lake, and I could not do any rock skipping, sadly. I suck at it. But yeah, you can see like the dam in the distance. Took some photos and I think it was a really fun sting, except for like um, when I cut some fing I cut my finger because there was like some broken glass on the, f uh, on the sand, which I decided to break even more. And I cut my finger while trying to break it more. I did break it somewhat, but you know, wasn't very fun. It didn't hurt a lot though, so. But like still, a lot of blood fell, so that wasn't very fun. Um, I kind of stained the water and the entire road, like the pathway I walked back to the car, it was all stained with blood, even though I was like holding my finger and trying to stop the blood flow. I put a bandage on and played again though, so. Also, I searched through so many band-aids because the blood was soaking the entire band-aid. 
And when I wash my finger, I'm like, yeah, the water kind of turned red and didn't stop. Basically, I had to hold the finger really tight so that no blood would fall for like 10 minutes. No, for a day. So I put the Band-Aid on really tightly so that it wouldn't bleed. And then like, if you see this land is really barren, so there isn't really any beauty in it. But once you walk close to the shore and you just look out into the distance, it looks really, it looks really, I don't know, like mysterious and stuff. It's a type of tourist attraction that you don't know till you make the effort to actually look at it and walk around and everything. See, so if you walk all the way here, then you look into the distance. You can see the trees and the mist and everything. And the water is so calm. The ripples in the water after we throw the rock is really nice to watch because we kind of like create a disturbance in it and it goes around in circles. The circle part is really satisfying though. Such a calm lake. You can see like a dock back there. I think that's a boat, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's nice to watch and my brother kind of ruined it because you're only supposed to use small rocks to like throw it so it will be disturbed the calm not. And if you use big rocks, it kind of just splashes everywhere else and you can't see the ripples anymore. There are fish in the water. They're probably in the middle though. There wasn't a lot to do here. So we kind of took some photos, got my finger cut through some rocks and left. It was really nice going here because there was fresh air and the water isn't that dirty. Like it's clear and you can kind of see a lot in it. So I think that was one of the most interesting parts, which I just stood there and watched for a few minutes. But yeah, nothing too interesting. Although this dam, even though it looks like this, um, it does help a lot. Like this singular dam helps hundreds to thousands of people. And when we left, there was a design on like those hills, which said Sune in Oriya. So it's the first time I've seen such a design other than, you know, Hollywood. And even Hollywood didn't have this design absolutely adore it because in Hollywood it's like signs put into the ground like really big letters so everyone can read it from everywhere and this it's like painted onto the grass or maybe there's bricks in put into the grass but it's into the grass and there was a lot of cows on the hill too so I'll be showing that in a moment it was really interesting um I think that's about it like all the information i have for this and the very important fact like the one fact i want you guys to remember is no matter how much how bad a place looks there's always some sort of beauty in it and there is also some benefit in it if this dam wasn't here many people could have died and the water source would never be stable so Kara Dam and Sunai Dam, these two dams, they help a lot. This is the design on the hills, you can kind of see. Yeah, I think it's like bricks in the grass. I don't think they painted it. I have no idea because if they painted it, then they would have to do it over and over again. And it looks like it's on top of the grass. But anyways, guys, I really hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and bye. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's